want to say I hope everyone uh, had a very merry Christmas Hanukkah Kwanzaa. Uh, that should cover most of the people in the room. Uh, if you're atheist, well, you snooze, you lose. So pick a team, right? But can we just take a minute to uh, give it up for the diversity that's in the room tonight? At least I hope it's diverse. All I see is a scene of all Sandy pictures right in front of me. But really, it's almost 2019, y'all. We've got to do something to get past all of this nonsense, all this hatred and racism and bigotry. Um, and I hate to even have to say this, but not all Southern white people are racist inbred rednecks. There's a lot of them. There's a lot. But don't lump us all together, man. Now, there are some red flags that you can watch out for that will indicate that you might be dealing with some racist inbred rednecks. And when I say redneck, I'm not talking about the Jeff Foxworthy, aw shucks, bless their heart kind of rednecks. They're kind of cute and sweet and they're okay. No, I'm talking about these backwoods, backwards thinking, knuckle dragging, mouth breathing, window licking buffoons, okay? So if you meet someone, all right, and they have more fingers on their hands than teeth in their head, you might be dealing with a racist inbred redneck. If you meet a kid and he introduces his father as cousin dad, you're probably dealing with a racist inbred redneck. If you see a bumper sticker or you hear someone shout, the South will rise again you're probably dealing with a racist inbred redneck, okay? If you meet someone and they have four first names, like Millie Joe, Jim Bob, Lori Mae, Sally Sue, they might be a racist inbred redneck. And I know that because I'm riding a fine line, y'all. I got three first names. I kid you not. Matthew, Clay, Harold. Thanks, Mom and Dad. Now look, you don't have to be Southern to be a racist idiot, right? I mean, just look at Donald Trump. I mean, the whole thing. Okay, hold on. Okay, okay. Listen. Hold on. Okay. I'm Donald Trump, okay? I'm the best president there is, okay? All I'm trying to do is make America white again. I'm sorry, great again. Trying to make America great again. That's all I'm trying to do. Just listen. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Listen. Okay. I have the best words. I have the best hair. And I'm going to build a great, big, beautiful wall. I don't know why everybody's so upset. All I'm trying to do is create a superior ace! Sorry. He's not really Hitler, is he? I don't know. But really, it's sad, man. It's, it's really unfortunate where we are in this country right now. And it's just all this hatred for no reason, it seems like, other than what you see on the outside. And there's something that we, we need to do about it. And, and we've got to start teaching our kids something better, man, because racism and hatred, that stuff, kids don't, don't know that. They're taught how to hate, right? So what can we do to correct that? I think it might be helpful if every once in a while, as Drew Carey closes out The Price is Right, he might say, thanks for watching, folks, and remember, some of you need to have your children spayed or neutered. Right? Not all of them, okay? We're going to do a select few, all right? But if Cletus Jr. the third is on his fourth attempt at passing the fifth grade, go ahead and do society a favor and get him fixed. Because all he's going to do if you don't is grow up and create another knuckle-dragging, window-licking mouth breather. And we've got enough of those already, man. So I just, I wanted to tell you guys how I got the idea for this bit that I've been working on. So a few days ago, I was in the shower, and all of a sudden it hit me. And I stopped, and I turned around and said, Hey, put that loofah down, cousin. I got an idea for a funny joke. <laughs> all right, my name's Matt Harold. You guys have a very happy new year. Thank you very much. All right, please, give that energy. Come on, Mr. Matt.